Today is Monday, March 23rd, 2020. I am Julie Hankinson, and this is the view out my window. Well, today I got out of the house because I was, I needed to do my weekly um, food shopping. Um, since we're, you know, now in a recession officially, um, some people are calling it a depression. Some people aren't, you know, whatever, but we are officially quote unquote in a recession, <laughs> whatever. Um, the fact is I am trying to stick to a budget. I did fairly good today, stayed within uh, $100, which is really good when you go out shopping on the, um, you know, Japanese markets, which is where all the good fresh food is. Uh, did get some fresh Hokkaido salmon and um, Hokkaido cheese and Hokkaido sour cream, and also uh, some fresh, tiny Japanese strawberries. Um, and along with some um, yogurt drink. So all the basic necessities of life, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, um, did go out shopping, spent my $100 uh, food budget, which I am now uh, trying to stick to. Uh, of course, I do have all my canned goods in the um, cabinet, uh, my American cans of peas and spinach and and all that wonderful stuff, as well as my lentils from France. Uh, life is rough when we're a global economy. Well, it is whenever the supply chains are broken. So I had my first real evidence of the broken supply chains because I thought, oh, I'm out, I will drive through Mickey D's. And I'm looking at the menu going, well, they're out of that, they're out of that, they're out of that. And you get up to the window after you finally order, um, you know, a pale substitute of what you want. And they, there's a sign apologizing, uh, but their supply ship has not come in. And so um, they do not have all the items that um, we normally have take for granted that we have. And this is, to me, really, um, I would say the first evidence of, um, you know, blatant in your face. So I'm over after this, I go to the Japanese market. And if it's one thing the Japanese are always well stocked on, it's face masks. I could not buy one face mask. They are totally sold out. Um, and the Japanese, like the Americans, have been stocking up on toilet paper. <laughs> it is just so funny. So the basic necessities now are um, not just food, but hand wipes, um, you know, toilet paper, and face masks. All right, our new reality. This was, um, like I said, I've been um, isolated, uh, sheltering in place at home, and only went out for food um, just because I wanted to get the fresh, awesome um, stuff, you know, instead of just um, eating all the canned good stuff I have. And... Um, um, you have never been to a market until you've been to a Japanese market and see over 20 different kinds of mushrooms. I mean, even what we're suffering through right now, quote unquote suffering, um, is, um, yeah, I think we're down to a, a whole, uh, 10 different varieties of mushrooms instead of the normal 20 or 30. Um, but. I do think um, if you like something, if you can find it, you need to get it now because again, the supply chains are breaking down and um, production is ceasing. So the things that you normally 
think of as just being there um, are no longer available or if they are available they're available somewhere else and not you know where it's easily accessible uh, again um, I was looking on Amazon looking for my favorite olive oil all right yes I'm, I'm sounding a bit like a foodie here um, but it was you you couldn't get it because it's from a, it's a special reserve in Italy and of course Italy is totally shut down um, and again it's not their fault it's not anybody's fault it's um, we're all just trying to stay alive right now but you either have to substitute or you have to um, you know make do with what you have or what's available in your local area so I did end up um, buying some additional uh, French gray salt um, because I was worried <laughs> that I wouldn't be able to get it in the future um, you know it was only a little two pound sack but still that lost me for almost a year and um, I do like to cook with it just a pinch here and there and um, and I just feel very um, like I'm being more careful about my salt intake whenever I only use a pinch or two of salt instead of just shaking the whole salt shaker over my meal. So again, that's a personal preference. Um, and I am just um, thinking about everyone that's getting laid off. And here I am talking about two pounds of gray French salt and they're thinking about their meals. And there are uh, food banks. I really want to emphasize that. Please share that with your friends and don't let them be too proud um, to go to a food bank and get some food. Um, I don't mean to be mean-spirited, but, you know, save your cash, pay your um, electricity bills, or buy gas if you need it to get to work or, or to the food bank, but let them provide you with the basic necessities and you call up the mortgage people because the mortgage um, holders, a lot of them are um, letting you postpone your mortgage payments. Um, do what you have to stay afloat. And if that means eating a little crow and going to the food bank, it's, you know, it's better to do that now and make sure you've got a roof over your head than to wish you had done it later. Um, realize that all of us, in whatever current circumstance we are, are all being affected in to various degrees. And also realize that all of us are going to have our standards changed. We are going to no longer be this, I want it, I get it now, no questions asked, put it on my credit card. Um, society, we are going to have to become a more thoughtful society thinking about the consequences of our actions and what is more important, um, you know, um, responsible actions that we take. We can't just um, arbitrarily buy what we want anymore without thinking about well, maybe I should be saving this money and putting it in my emergency fund because truthfully, I don't know what my work situation is going to be next week or next month. This is not going away tomorrow. We are, as everyone keeps saying, in unprecedented, unprecedented times. These, no one's, you know, um, the Great Depression 
and um, people's circumstances changed. And you can either choose to survive or to thrive. Now I'm gonna, um, I was listening to a feng shui, shui um, forecast today on the fact that this is the year of the rat. Now the rat, he sits there in his little burrow and he has his eyes open and he's nice and secure. And whenever he sees an opportunity, he rushes out, he grabs that opportunity, and then he goes back to his burrow and he hangs out with his closest uh, family members or whatever. And I'm sort of visualizing myself and those wise ones right now as we need to hunker down like the rat. Just think of this as the year of the rat. We're gonna hunker down like the rat and we're gonna be in our little homes and our little apartments and we're gonna be safe and secure because we've got our store of cheese, our food, our pantry there. And yes, we occasionally have to go out and work, grab another piece of cheese or whatever, or we have to go to the food bank and grab some cheese and then come back and stay safe and secure in our homes. It's like being a hermit. We're gonna just communicate, you know, um, and stay in touch that way, but we're gonna keep uh, ourselves and our families safe and secure. But that doesn't mean that we can't dart out and grab an opportunity if we see it and then come back home and hunker down and protect ourselves and our families. I, I really like that um, analogy and it's so easy to think about this is the year of the rat and, um, and that we are little rats, if you will. Um, I am not some um, crazy wolf out there, you know, uh, with my loaded pistol and I'm going to be a survivalist surviving in my bunker or whatever. I am in my light, nice little cozy apartment and I have my pantry and I go out to work um, and when I have to, the rest of the time I'm teleworking um, and I watch out for my own family. And um, it's, you know, and close friends. I'm staying in contact, texting and everything with friends. And um, this is just um, an evolving situation. And I'm just throwing out ideas that maybe you can um, identify with or maybe you just think, oh my gosh, where is that lady coming from? But I hope that it has sparked some new ways of thinking about things today um, because none of us are going to leave this year without being impacted in a major way by the circumstances we are currently living in. This great reset that um, we are currently living in is going to reset the way we think, the way we spend our money, our living circumstances, our jobs, um, no matter where you are on the pay spectrum, even Wall Street, they're all being sent home to work from home. Bankers are being sent home to work from home. It doesn't matter who you are, your life is being impacted. Um, you know, medical professionals, they are there on the front lines. Please respect them. What kind of idiot punches a medical person in the nose because they are shopping at Walmart? 
I know that these are scary times and that we are fearful, but goodness gracious, I hope karma comes back and bites that person seriously. Um, talk about this is a life giver and you are totally assaulting them. Uh, some of the craziness that's going on, it's, it's almost hilarious that when you hear about a toilet paper truck being hijacked. I couldn't believe that one. Um, but again, these are interesting times we are living through, and I hope and pray that you are staying safe and caring for yourself and your family, and that you will find many of these little wonderful opportunities, and you will reach out and you will grab them. And I will talk with you all tomorrow, and you all take care. And remember to wash your hands, and good night.